A slow developing running play and a swarming defense. Brian Brzee, the line. He's right here. He'll fight his way through. But look at the backup here. Remember, we do not. We don't have Tyler Davis. So Trey Williams also getting some reps. But both inside tackles that time. Getting by playing so much zone. There's some soft pockets where they're throwing that football. Third and short. Tempo didn't pull him. Brzee just muscled through. Now to be third and seven. High snap. Daniels gets the ball out quickly. McIntosh fighting and it's a first down that was some tough running first to go out here and, and be slot receiver running backs to be slot receivers and and that's where you can see again that the versatility of a guy that can go out there and, and do that and you've had all but right now they're trying to make do and asking guys to play different roles this is McIntosh the familiar running back position they're starting to get downhill now McIntosh in the backfield then it to pass McIntosh with a great catch Touchdown, Georgia! Get back to himself, right? Stetson Bennett comes in for the injured JT Daniels. Drops two dimes for touchdowns. A missed tackle right there. Down to five. I'm gonna run it with Kenny McIntosh. Went through the roof. So you see Stetson doing that today. Remember, Daniels was coming off that knee injury, that torn ACL. As McIntosh gets the carry. Collard right. You know, Her Herschel didn't start in their week one game against Tennessee that year as a freshman. He didn't start? Didn't start. Come on, man. Really? They were down. They're even going to get healthier later in the year. They're going to be even more explosive. Get some more receivers back and get them healthy. This is McIntosh. That running back stable proving their way. It's a big underdog here tonight. 31 points. Swing pass in the flat to Kenny McIntosh inside the 40 and down with a first down. And Talk about Brock Bowers, number 19. Watch him as a blocker here. We know he's a receiver, but out leading the block, he gets the key block along with Fitzpatrick, 86, the other tight end. And that's what you need. Great blocking on the tight end. Darnell Washington also sideline. Here's McIntosh ahead. Coordinated by Clayton White, who was at Western Carolina, excuse me, Western Kentucky as the coordinator last year. And third and 14. The pass plays running it pretty well here in the first half. Till then. <laughs> that did not work. Us takes them back outside the 40, probably out of field goal range. Very conservative possession there. You have timeouts, you got a lot of time, your quarterback has thrown the ball well. And you don't even throw the foot. Nothing over Vanderbilt Catholic. He went 19 for 34, for three touchdowns. He also ran for 50. Kenny McIntosh. And we're seeing a little bit of all of them. Well, he's a fun guy to talk to, Todd Munkin. Kenny McIntosh. <laughs> and reloading. Kenny McIntosh has the first down. We'll see that often. Usually it's an uncovered lineman kind of floating downfield. Toss to McIntosh. Huge hole. And he slides down. We miss him so much. A, a man that meant a lot to just about everybody watching is for sure David Green. Second and five in McIntosh. A first down run and almost busted it loose down near the 31. There's so many. And they're quick over the ball. McIntosh, how easy is that? So, as you see on the backside, Warren Erickson, by the way, at left guard, there's not a more versatile player on this team. Mills is the superior pocket passer, but from a present standpoint, Beck's got better awareness. McIntosh eludes a couple of tackles and and gets inside the 20. So you're talking Kenny McIntosh, two more backs in his table in the game, and this is McIntosh. He's a versatile back. We'll probably see him catch a couple out of the backfield. With all the talk about Arkansas and what they're doing, they, they felt that their offensive line could just lean on this defense. Josh is now the back. Clean pocket for Bennett. Lost it down. Field for the running back who makes the catch. It is not trying to open up the wheel. See Mitchell right there, five. He's taking the corner with him. And then they knew they had the back slipping out of the backfield. Great execution. What a throw. He just dropped it in the bucket, as they say. McIntosh carries the football for about a yard, and a flag is down. They go limping out of the backfield. Great execution. What a throw. He just dropped it in the bucket, as they say. McIntosh 
carries the football for about a yard, and they the go, flag is down. They go six so far have been runs. And why go away from that? That time he he swarming all around. McIntosh, nice near the marker again before Catalan stopped him. Be fatigued when this happens to you. I mean, this is like Vince Dooley football. I mean, they barely need to throw. It's just pure power. Quarterback going to the league, it's all about the fit, right? All about the guys you got around you. And Herbert's got a good situation. We see and it's Kenny McIntosh. Short game. Talked about the, the stable. It's been rare for a... McIntosh. This, this Georgia, this Georgia crowd. Last possession, that's their longest drive of the season. Better field position this time, and that's just McIntosh. Right now. McIntosh up the middle. This will give people like Auburn, he's still plowing ahead, running really hard. All these guys are fresh and hungry to talk to them privately. They're not surprised. McIntosh takes a pitch on fourth down. He's going to make a cut, get the first down. And he shows his quick. Kirby, of course, the all-conference performer his senior season in the secondary for Georgia. And he Mackin Bennett, the quick throw on the wide-out screen. And that's not going anywhere either. McIntyre. And now a couple of minutes into the second quarter, Georgia with a second and 20. Bennett throws across the middle. Complete. Another flag is down. Kenny McIntosh still going. Well, let's see what this mark on the 42. One of those tight ends, Bowers, in motion. It's a toss sweep to Kenny McIntosh. Cox is going to have to get on. Yes, it is. Cox, he runs a pass and smartly turned up inside by McIntosh. McIntosh again trying to weave his way to a first down, and with all the pushing, he got close. That's and the ball out at the end. Another. Was his right knee right down? Knee, though. I looked think, like it. Yeah, was was his right knee down before? I don't Ooh, think man, so. Maybe not. I think not. that's going to be called a fumble. Now, was it immediately? The ball was moving. Was it immediately? The fumble. Even though the whistle blew, there can be an. Looked like the corner had the play. McIntosh, a couple yards there. First time Georgia's in Missouri territory today, Greg. And under center, giving to McIntosh on second and nine. They're still trying to pound the door with Dylan Books. You know, she's got the pixelated houndstooth and the beautiful scarf, and then he's rocking that lid. Bennett downfield, and the one-handed effort that... Reeling it in. Unreal. Catch by the talented back. Make adjustments within the offense, both in the route tree and in protection. McIntosh. Only able to get maybe a yard and a half. We need JT Daniels to win us a football game, and who knows when that day will come, but he's ready to go, that's for sure. Swings it to McIntosh, and then McIntosh is driven well. Third and three. McIntosh wrestled down right at the last drive. We play Stetson Bennett. Short pitch. McIntosh with a blocker in front as he gets it. And another loss. Gary talked about the tackle for loss. He just to make the block and gets beat inside. That's the one thing when you step outside and that guy takes that inside move, you've got to hustle and try to take his legs out. Kenny McIntosh this time got to the 30. Fitzpatrick, the tight end, closes in on the left side. It's going to be a throw out to McIntosh. Made one guy miss, got it near the 40. Bet it though, saving a sack, saving yardage. Kenny McIntosh out in the flat. And flags down. We're going to have a holding call, I think, on Bowers. Yes, maybe. It is. Low, McIntosh scoops it, and Bowers has holding. got his guy all hooked up there. Number 19, Tim Yacoon from the previous spot. Off the arm of Stetson Bennett. Kenny McIntosh is going to take his spot here to give him a breather. And this is McIntosh. Kenny McIntosh goes for 15. Nesser Crouch and Henry Toa Toa as their inside linebackers. Crouch playing for Michigan State, Toa Toa playing for Alabama. They had a lot of transfers. 
Big Darnell Washington in motion, the tight end. That one's over the head of Kenny McIntosh. This case again, I think he's thinking, he, you know, just my guy or nobody on that play. At the ball's 48. Bennett with a handoff. And Kenny McIntosh gets to about the 40. The numbers are starting to pile up for Stetson Bennett. Kenny McIntosh up the middle. He's down to the five. Is to the left of Bennett, and he gets the underhand toss. McIntosh. And he's down inside the 10 to the 5. This would be doing it. Three tight ends in the field. It's like having eight offensive linemen and three of them being eligible to go out for a pass. It's a tough formation. If you've got those type of versatile players that can block like Bowers does right there and still go out for passes. Got up again to the left. First and goal at the 5. This time a straight handoff to McIntosh, and he is in. Touchdown, Georgia. Kenny McIntosh from five yards. A finish a football game, a six-play drive, all runs, and stick it into the end zone. From the 21-yard line, Stetson Bennett began as the number three quarterback, has become the guy. As second, third, and fourth effort. That time by Kenny Mackett. Georgia backfield and totes the rock for 13. And you got the tight end off the ball, Brock Bowers, and then that left side of the line, right side of the line, excuse me. Just They're going to go for it on fourth and five. McIntosh, the lone back. Bennett looks that way. A little toss to McIntosh to the 35, the 30. First down yardage down the sideline. 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Kenny McIntosh. The junior from Fort Lauderdale. That's why they line up right here. Watch zero, watch 19, watch 81. All of them showing up, and that's what you do. When you have a big play by a back, it's not because of his ability always. It's what you do. The dominance on the field. Yeah, they've been able to play at such a high level defensively, and it's allowed this offense to get better as well. Been, it was early in the move on, and they've, you know, I'm, I'm sure for Matt Corral and his family, he's really looking forward to that next level. Daniels handoff, McIntosh off left tackle. Banging bodies inside. on first and goal. They'll keep it on the ground. McIntosh burrows to the four. On second down and five. Empty backfield. Pass complete to McIntosh. Little bubble screen. McIntosh lost it. Ball on the ground. Buccaneers say they have it. As it stands, a third down and a yard. Yeah, whenever you walk work back inside, usually the defensive players, especially if the ball is held there. Well, one of those times with the short field would be pretty good right here as Kenny McIntosh circles in motion and takes the swing pass. And he is lassoed out of bounds at about the 25-yard line, but easily picked up 11. Four-man rush, and it well protected. Flips one out of the backfield to McIntosh. And he McIntosh picks up seven yards. It to hurt our football team. He doesn't play careless with the football. A toss to McIntosh. He gets outside. He's got about eight more. Well, that was again. So That's how you get the respect of your football team. A toss to Kenny McIntosh. He's got a convoy down the sideline. Kenny McIntosh with a stiff arm to the pylon. Touchdown. Nice little kick toss. Four strong. Good blocks on the perimeter. Let's see if he stays in bounds. Down to sideline. McIntosh goes. Is he stay? Oh, yeah. Clearly stays. Line of Alabama. Second down at four. McIntosh stood up. The line of scrimmage by To'o To'o. Get line as Darnell Washington sets up the pitch to McIntosh. Kenny McIntosh, he's got a first down. Georgia football right here, isn't it? Toss sweep. They do it from the shotgun, but it's the same thing. And uh, we've seen many. With Bennett in the Georgia backfield. Going to flare it out to him. Looking for a block. Made one man miss. The rest of the tide swarming. McIntosh found a hole up the middle. Man, did he get through that in a hurry. Wrong direction. He's going this way. The back goes the other way. 
Van Pran handles him beautifully, the center that time, and that gashed the defense. A little bit of hurry up on second down and three. And it's McIntosh again, and he's down inside the 20. Him this time come inside almost on an iso block and get the key block on the play. Gets Char Harris that time, and Christian Harris had no chance to get to him. All right. Fakes the toss sweep and then lobs it out there. He got hit from behind. Might be the last play right here. Unless they connect, connect. And fourth and seven plus, they will. McIntosh gets the first down. But they're up. And they get to McIntosh who motion out. He's got a block on the edge. Wolverines gang up on him and tackle him at the 20. So the match is working very well. McIntosh is going to throw it. Lobs to the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Mitchell. Defender. Watch Michigan have to respond to him. He looks like he's running the football. Look at the Michigan defense concerned. He looks like that ball is going to be run. And instead, all those blue jerseys. And he's got A.D. Mitchell alone. In a yard on third down. And McIntosh avoids traffic in the backfield. Hill wrestles him down, but it is the first down. Yeah, Josh Ross trying to get down. And a crushing blow. Oh. Wolverines, a block punt right there, as it is Bennett. Has 214 to work with here to add to this lead before halftime. Look at McIntosh showing the muscle, the leg drive, pushing Wolverines back. Stetson in the shotgun, snap, quick throw, left to McIntosh for a screen. Kenny Mack, 50, Kenny Mack. 45, Kenny Mack down to the Michigan 40. And McIntosh on that nice play from Stetson Bennett picks up a scan of energy first down all the way down to the Michigan. They spotted on the 41 yard line. Great play call there by Coach Buck and he saw the intense pressure that Michigan was putting. No, no. He, he, didn't, he didn't think with That's, his heart. As much I, as it meant, he, he, Holly, he did his homework. Uh, Holly, he was going to go to Louisiana. He's like, hey, if you're going to hold this. Pretty good job of that, but I get your point. <laughs> Tough run stopper. As well, that's Cook who goes in motion, and Kenny McIntosh takes the handoff, tried to get the edge. Told tonight there, <laughs> what going on here for Will Anderson Jr. Across the middle, it's McIntosh in space. Not the defense, a blitz, and nice job of picking that up. And Bennett kind of senses it, feels it, and just checks it down real quick to McIntosh and get positive yards for the white. Knocked down after a three-yard gain. You can bet that if Georgia looks. Second and ten, Bennett. Pump fakes. Delivers a high throw. McIntosh. Well covered. Man. Knocked down at the 40. Talk about working home. Ends up getting home. He comes around. You'll see the other backer, Harris, come into the inside as well. And eventually, he's able to get through that gap. You can just see Stetson Bennett just uncomfortable waiting for his receivers to get done with their route and turn so he has somebody to throw the ball. Cook went 30 yards beyond that. It's McIntosh who picks his way. Did they grab his face mask? Yes. Penalty flag down. Here, but he's playing right guard. Watch him right in the middle. Get a, do a nice job against the most talented defensive lineman, Mathis, who eventually grabs a hold of the face mask. Look who's in best corners out injured. Bennett looking to throw again, finds McIntosh, who bobbles it, holds on, barely. And oh, nine and a half, ten minutes to go. We're going to come out. We're going to give the ball to Stetson Bennett. What a great concentration by McIntosh against Brandon.